Welcome back, I am Disha Shah. If you're new to my channel, I make videos on how to make, save and invest money. Now, if you've seen the video title, as it suggests, this is a bit different because it's a favorites video. You hear me out, I know that this trend has kind of died, but back when I was obsessed with YouTube, I used to love watching these videos so much. I've always wanted to be a YouTuber, so this is like my dream come true because I finally have a channel. So I want to make some of the videos that I used to be obsessed with. So this video is definitely a result of that. Even though this trend has died, I would like to bring it back. And hence, welcome to my July 2020 favorites video. Let's start with TV shows. So I've been super obsessed with Canadian TV shows on Netflix. Um, I just think that their sense of humor is fantastic and hilarious. Um, and I also think that their stories and cast are mostly very inclusive and diverse, which I think is pretty cool. Um, so the one that's been keeping me company in July is Schitt's Creek. Now, if you haven't seen this show, uh, you wouldn't even believe how many laughs you're missing out on. The show is super, uh, super like exaggerated and funny and just easy going. And I love how the characters kind of develop throughout the show and how the messaging in the show is very subtle, but like very evident. Um, and the whole show is just a freaking mood, like every character in there. So I do this thing and my best friend does it too, uh, where when we start watching a TV show, like when we kind of start binging a certain storyline and their characters, uh, we start behaving like them. We will use dialogues that they use, their facial expressions. And if you've seen Shits Creek, you know how, how um, infectious those characters are. Um, so I think it's, it's just been awesome show. Like if you haven't watched it, go watch it. The book is about women in economics and it's written by Catherine Marcel. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, she talks about how Adam Smith and other economists have created so many economic theories and systems in place that completely ignore one gender and the messy reality of life and try to conform it all in the economic man. And she brings forth many stories and systems that make you as a young person really want to question the intentions behind these systems that have been created and if they make sense anymore or not. Uh, it's, it's a beautifully written book. It is very conversational, even though it talks about a lot of history and facts and uh, it's not boring at all if you enjoy books on feminism and economics and just kind of a good written book then i would definitely highly recommend this i absolutely love the fact that there are so many upcoming companies in india who are impact driven and socially responsible i think our generation is definitely a lot more aware um, that consumerism is basically a vote that you have to kind of decide what kind of businesses will exist and will not exist and with this vote comes a lot of responsibility and this is a space that i want to create where i can showcase brands and companies and uh, just organizations that uh, are profitable or sustainable and you can probably check them out if you're interested so the brand that i want to talk about today is called the paper dolphin um, the founder urusha is uh, a close friend of mine, we've collaborated in the past and just a few days before she sent me this really cute um, goodie bag. Uh, so the Paper Dolphin is an eco-conscious and guilt-free stationery brand. Uh, we've collaborated where we would have workshops or some corporate event workshops and she would supply the stationery for those things, goodie bags and a lot more awesome, amazing things. I haven't even peeked into this goodie bag because I wanted to see what my own <laughs> expressions were while opening it. I think the best part about recording videos sometimes I feel is that, you know how you question, like, how do I react to these things? When you start making videos, you kind of get to see how you react for every single situation. And it's exciting sometimes, super cringy the other times, but well, let's just move on. I'm gonna try to unbox it here in front of you. Um, so all of it is upcycled, um, handmade, uh, from scratch so none of it is bad for the environment basically and it's all beautiful um, okay this is what it looks like I'm not sure what this is handcrafted notebooks and okay that's just the thing <laughs> I don't feel like my expressions are very entertaining 
um, oh this is so cute these are like mini notepads i mean if if you if you're from india you know that next to the phone stands they have these um, ridiculous papers cut. I mean, it's good because they're kind of recycling it. Cut and kept so that if you want to write down something immediately that, I mean, this diary reminds me of that, but it's definitely such an easy put in your bag and carry kind of um, notebook. So you kind of just unclip it like this and they're just blank pages of paper, which are also recycled, which is awesome. I think this is so cute and it would make such a cute gift too. Um, really love it. The next one. Oh my god, so everyone in quarantine is obsessed with cooking um, and so am I. <laughs> so this looks beautiful. Oh, it says, touch the cover and feel the prettiness of that old cardboard box in the basement. Take a whiff of the resourced rescued paper inside and discover the joy of being accepted after many rejects. This is not just a book, this is an idea. Oh, I love that so much. I love that. Okay, you can put in your ingredients. This preparation is a blank page on the side. I love the quality of it. it. Smells like a really nice book. Like it gives you the book feel. She sent quite a bit of things. Oh, this is the pen with the seed behind. I love these. The whole thing is cardboard. Even the cap, if you can see. Even that. And then there's a pen. Yeah. I don't know why I did that. Okay. So we have that. Oh, she sent quite a few things. That's really generous. And she does know I'm doing this video, by the way. It's a surprise. She just sent it to me, but uh, I decided to include it in this video because she's awesome and the paper dolphin is awesome. Okay, this is just a notebook, which is brilliant. I absolutely love this size. I will show you the notebook I'm currently using. Uh, so I'm using these two. This is an expensive one that I got from Mumbai. Um, I think, I believe it's the one which is uh, which is no brand. Uh, I absolutely love this uh, book. It just goes like that. I have terrible handwriting, so don't mind that. But I like these kind of checked and side places. Um, so I used to use this a lot. And this, <laughs> this is a book from one of my friends. Uh, when I get bored, I color this, but um, she's a really close friend of mine and I love using stationery that's been gifted. As you can see I have a little left. So it's perfect timing for this book and it's plain and I like the brown sheet of it. So I absolutely love this. Basically, go check the paper dolphin out. I will leave um, her YouTube video in the description box, her Instagram page. You can DM them and buy all these goodies there um, without any guilt because they're all upcycled and recycled. Um, and good for the environment and it's a very socially responsible brand. Okay, the next one is um, beauty products that I've really really been enjoying. Um, I think these products have made me feel at least a little normal and not completely um, quarantined because when I put these products on I feel like okay um, maybe I will go out today but I don't guys I stay at home but you know it just gives you a feeling of I don't know man you know what I'm talking about. Um, so if you've noticed, my hair is super um, big and dry, like it's quite frizzy. So I kind of make sure that I oil my hair at least twice a week. And even after I oil my hair and wash it, I need a lot of serum to kind of keep it in place. Um, and the one that I absolutely love um, is Argan Oil because it is a bit heavy uh, and it's thick. So if you have finer hair or oily scalp then i'm not sure you will like this but i have super dry hair and quite long hair i don't know why i did that my hair is quite long so i absolutely like this i don't know if you get this in india but any argan oil will honestly do um, this one's from the us and my sister's got it from me i'm almost done with it i got it in like jan i don't know if you can see it but it's almost done and i am I'm, I'm dreading the time that i will probably not get this ever again uh, so yeah, I really love this. For my face, I usually don't do much. I wash my face like twice or thrice a day, depending on the day. Um, and I put on a toner normally uh, and moisturizer sometimes because I have combination skin. But what I have been enjoying this past month is just washing my face and putting on like an aloe vera gel. This one is from 
Apollo Hospital, so you can get it at any pharmacy. You just ask for any aloe vera gel, but I think it just makes my face face face. I think it just makes my face feel really like cool and refreshed, and it's just nice. There isn't too much that I'm saying to these products because I'm not an expert at all. My favorite lip balm, and I absolutely love this one by Nivea. It's called Blackberry Shine, um, and I really like it for the smell. Have you smelled one of these uh, Nivea? Lip balms, like even the pink guava one, used to smell so, so good. And it just makes you feel like you have a fruit stuck to your lip, if that makes sense. Uh, but for the lipstick, now 99% of all of quarantine, I've been using one lipstick. The one that I have right now is also this one. I've just topped it off with a little bit of gloss. Uh, but it's from the new uh, Indian brand, which is cruelty free and vegan and it's called Fay Beauty which is free and equal. This is what it looks like. Um, not a fan of the packaging but I absolutely love the lipstick. This one is in the shade Too Cheeky. Um, even they're a socially responsible brand. Um, this is what the color looks like. I need a quick swatch. Oh my god I feel like a YouTuber. That's what it looks like. It's it's matte uh, but it doesn't dry up your lips at all it is buildable so you go like one stripe and then there's nothing and then you go second and then you can kind of darken it up really darken it up and they feel like almost nothing on your lips um which is awesome they come in four different shades i have two actually but this color i love it so so much I will link their website um, in the description box and their Instagram channel. They're an amazing brand. Even their whole um, advertising and pictures is really crazy and awesome because they don't Photoshop or edit any of their models or any of their pictures. So you see real skin textures and complexions and it's really inclusive and diverse and really stands for what they call themselves, which is free and equal. So I absolutely love the brand and I hope they come out with a lot more things. But this is, this is the lipstick I'm wearing in all of my YouTube videos. Uh, uh, none of, this, none is of this is sponsored, guys. I just genuinely have been liking these products. Um, the next one is also a gift, but I think if you are looking to kind of have a similar vibe with me right now, any citrusy uh, perfume will do. It, it immediately makes you feel like you've gone outside, um, like for a walk or like it's spring, or you know, it's just really citrusy. Um, so the one that I like is called A Hint of Citrus by Clinique. It comes in that three set. This is also a gift by my sisters. My sisters absolutely spoiled me. This is what it looks like. And it smells so, so nice. Like, I also like the spray. I don't know if you can see it. It's like, it's like a rain. It's so good, guys. Um, so yeah, these are the products that I have been using all all through all the months. I don't even know if I'm going to have different products every month because I just use the same things for a very, very long time. I don't switch that much, uh, but these are like my staples for sure. Let's talk about lifestyle. Now, there are two things that I've been doing this month um, that have made me really, really happy and there's something to look forward to when um, social distancing and quarantine style starts getting to me, which is having these um, creative dates with my best friends. Um, if you if you know me, um, which most of you don't, but if you know me, I am not very creative when it comes to pen and paper. Um, I, I don't, I haven't probably done anything with a pen and paper in terms of drawing or painting in ages. Like remember when we had art class in school, that's probably when I did my last thing. Uh, but it's just exciting because I do enjoy makeup. I really like uh, experimenting and like playing with fun colors, but I haven't done that in so, so long. So my best friend and I just get together on like WhatsApp video call or Zoom and just kind of try out like really funky different makeups. Um, I'll try to insert a picture of our previous date. Um, so that's been really, really exciting. So if you have something that you've been meaning to try out with your friend, schedule these dates in and have them. It takes like an hour or two, but it's something you can really look forward to. Um, you end up talking about it afterwards. You go on Pinterest. It's just a fun process. Um, the other thing that I did was have another date with my uh, best friend on actually putting like using pen and paper. This is her notebook, by the way. Um, and she's a brilliant artist. Um, and she sketches and paints and does everything. <laughs> so 
So I will show you some of her work without her permission, but so she like this is her. Like this is just her. So all of this is her, and she's ouch. This is her. Like she's this good. And <laughs> we had an art date where um, she basically drew the mandala and I painted in, and then I had to. <laughs> Uh, draw on the other page and I told you my my brains just stuck in the first grade uh, Drawing class where they made you draw things. So when you give me a blank piece of paper and crayons My brain doesn't know what to do with it. So this is what I did oh My god, I'm gonna destroy this book. This is what I did, right? Um, every figure that you were taught as a kid is in there. You have cat, you have butterfly, you have an apple, you have tree um but it was so relaxing and fun. And then she drew this mandala and I painted it in. Uh, so it was just so relaxing and fun and so many giggles. Um, so I've been really, really enjoying uh, doing yoga. I'm not a gym person or an exercise person, but I really, really enjoy yoga. I think it's so mindful and intentional and it just makes me go to a really calm and quiet place in my head. Uh, and once I'm done with that, I'm really ready for the day. So I've been following yoga with Adrienne on YouTube. I will link her channel in the description box. I also put up a routine that I did. So I will link my routine in the description box too. I have a few other favorites that I think I would like to include. Um, so most of you don't know this, but I have been working in the social space for over five years now. I'm an Ashoka Young Change Maker for the work that I've done um, in the financial literacy space for women. If you guys would like it, I would like to include things like the petitions that I signed in the month, the places that I made donations to, or verified places that I would recommend you can make donations to if you're looking to do some donations, um, some campaigns and movements you can be part of, and just things like that. If you'd be interested in all these things, then I'll probably start including it in my next video. It'd be really, really exciting. Um, so yeah, let me know in the comments down below if you enjoyed the categories that we covered if you have anything more to add anything basically just let me know um so yeah i think i'm going to wrap up the video thank you so much for watching if you stayed till the end um it was quite candid so i hope you enjoyed um uh, my randomness if this video it's also the first time i'm shooting a video during daylight because if you live in india you know how hard it is to shoot anything without a microphone during the day because you have dogs barking, vegetable vendors shouting, um, cooker whistles going off and it's just hard. But I've chosen a very early time during the day. So I'm hoping that there are no edits in terms of noises. But I was super happy to make this video. I absolutely enjoyed myself. Um, if you like this, let me know and I will do this every single month. Like it, subscribe to the channel, click on the bell icon so you're notified every time I come on. And I'll see you in the next video.